Okay, on into the final boss fight. I haven't managed to get the uh, done a little bit more searching off camera. I've not been able to get the final two crystals, which is really annoying. I bet they're in both those chests over there because this is my main sort of combat party just two tanks and just serious area of effect spells. I haven't got a rogue in the party, therefore I can't unlock those chests, so I've only got two out of three towers. Hopefully, that won't make such a massive difference. Okay, there she is. Hello, bitch. Now the piece has fallen to place. The Grey One comes, the instrument of the Father. Oh, and the Father, he is but a shadow. Oh, how my children protect me. How they love me. I have told you many times, Mother, I am not the father. I am simply the architect. It does not change what you are! You took away that beautiful music. Left us with nothing. It was a mistake to free you. It has left you with madness. I am truly sorry. Warden would like to hear how it was that the father began the blight. You want the source of the arch demon? The one who brought all our kind to the surface? Here he is! Well, paint me green and call me a turnip. <laughs> ah, there it is then. Unfortunate. I did find the old god of Samuel, but I did not wish another blight. I attempted my joining ritual. My hope was that this would free all Darkspawn, unravel the curse from its source. Alas, I was unlucky. Ah, oh, so instead of actually doing his joining thing, all he did was wake the next Archer Demon. Well done, man. Is it not the way of the Grey Wardens to do what must be done? In the name of combating the Blight, the Blight is a menace, both for your people and for mine. To end it requires sacrifice and risk. Mm -hmm. And how lonely the father was. How terrible to be the outcast, the outsider. He claims he wishes the Darkspawn to be free, but what he truly wants is to correct them. However you feel about what I have done, the mother is mad. She cannot be allowed to... Be gone, Shadow! Any, you already have. And now the hero is alone. Oh, the mother knows your ways. You will not let her be. No, not after what she's done. So it must end. It all must come crashing down. Perhaps we will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it come. Let it come. Ah, oh, she verses.
Okay, so there's his pyre, etc. Towers. Shit, and that last one I didn't get was the Tower of Healing. Damn. I'm gonna have to be really, really careful. Really careful. Get out of there, man. You're burning yourself to death. Again, has got four core manage left. Uh. <laughs> oh, is it stand still? She can't fucking move anywhere, man. <laughs> stand still. Punch him in the face. <laughs> You're dead.
Okay, that, that is the crazy intense end to Awakening, I believe. So we've ended the Rays and Amaranthi, it's a bit late now, we've just, we had to burn it to the ground. So he's gathered them and just sort of hidden away. Okay. We'll get to him eventually. Ah, so he's delaying it rather than actually causing it again. Ah, we've got the warden of resistance. Did what we had to. <laughs> the fucking mob. <laughs> Jesus. I was meant to go and rebuild it, yeah. Nice, we now have a warden army at the keep. That's good. <laughs> Wouldn't speak more highly of human engineering. A bad Esmeralda committed suicide. Now the Silver Order along with the Wardens as well, with the Master Armour, nice. Oh, its path is open again. That's probably going to be a battleground at some point. Oh, they're moving back into Calvary Roll from Montezemar. Ah, oh, now they've made a direct link. A tremendous cost, it looks like. Starting to resettle in the Black Marsh, damn, that's brave. Oh, of course, Anders stays a Grey Warden. And then the left. Ah, oh. yeah, of course, he's an ex Grey Warden, isn't he? In Dragon Age 2. And then comes back again. <laughs> uh. And the ladder is now independent. It has now disappeared. Uh, Nathan's nephew is now a Grey Warden, yet he isn't. He's now independent. Justice is gone, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> it's better the doorstep, or his doorstep, and just drop dead. 
Ah, so that's how the spirit becomes free and eventually possesses Anders. Ah, see where I went to finish off. She must have led the dwarves back into Kalhara, oh, that's good. Moved on, and there's no longer commander of the wardens. Ah, vanish into everybody vanishes into obscurity. What most do? Ah, very interesting. Excellent, fantastic. And like I said, most of. I mean, I would place Origins above. Dragon Age 2, in fact, probably most people would. Um, Dragon Age 2 first, then Origins, so hopefully uh, Inquisition, from what I've seen so far, can top that. Um, based on the little walkthroughs, little trailers, the uh, and the screens I've seen so far for Inquisition, it looks astonishing. I mean, this level of RPG depth, memorable RPG experience, running on next-gen hardware will just be incredible. Alright, so that is it for Dragon's Origins Awakening. Thanks a lot, guys.